Yeah, so as you're aware, with uh, Muslim charities, the biggest fundraising type period is Ramadan, where you get a bulk of your donations. And Ali Shara, we've, we've always had a huge bulk of the donations, donations coming through Ramadan. Um, and we raise enough to get us by f to the end of the next year. We, because sadly, the situation is that when it comes to donating towards causes, people haven't got that connection with the deaf community yet, and they don't fully understand the need for our services. So when it comes to, say, um, donating um, for, say, say in uh, Syria, compared to donating to the UK for this service, you'd want to get your heart's more inclined towards donating to Syria. I'm not saying pick one or the other, but I'm just saying you're more inclined. And personally, that's sometimes what happens with me as well. You see the situation abroad and you want to support the brothers and sisters there because it's more life and death compared to knowledge. Um, so our donations itself will kind of take a hit because we're not able to do our events. We're not able to go up on the streets and really engage with people and uh, tell them about the charity. And um, so we're foreseeing that in the next two, three months that the charity might not have enough funds to run. Um, so um, that is the situation. So we kind of, the charity put a appeal up early on because it's better to be proactive than reactive. We'd rather know what state we're going to be in the next three months and act based on that as opposed to waiting for the three months and then saying we're closing because we really, really don't want this service to close because there's such a huge need for it. Because like you said earlier on, early on, that if this charity doesn't exist, who will provide this deaf service? Simple.